It was a sad day at Microplus Engineering in Starbridge because you had some old Mianos. How old were they? Uh, approximately 30 years old. Still going strong? They were still going strong? Yep, couldn't fault them. Still going strong, and but just came to the time where they had to go and be upgraded. Uh, so what was the obvious choice to replace them with? More Mianos, of course. There you go. So you've got two. They're BNA 42s, but two different, slightly different configurations. Yep, two, both 42s. We've got the uh, BNA 42 SY5 here. And to my right, we have the uh, BNA DHY3. Now, I'm going to put it on the, on the spot here. What's the difference? This one is um, twin spindle, single turret, yep. with a 12 station turret, all stations and dri are driven. And the DHY3 has a eight station main turret, a six station sub turret, yep. and all the stations on the uh, main turret are driven. Driven, okay. Uh, so you're, you're able to manufacture really complex parts? We can do, but we, t we tend to go for the medium to complex, to be fair. So right. this is what um, we needed to check our boxes. OK, so you could have gone an AX64SYY, for example. We could have done, yes, but the, the footprint that we had available in the factory, yeah. I'd rather have two smaller machines yeah. instead of one big machine to do half the jobs. OK, absolutely. And it's perfect for some of the jobs you're doing. I mean, we've got examples these three jobs here. I'll come to the middle one in a minute, but yep. these two just very quickly, just to talk me through what you're ma making here. First of all, the, the, this aluminium part here, we, we uh, make this on the uh, DHY3. We're getting a, a shorter bar remnant, so the batch size isn't quite justified, justifiable for the sliding head, so we've moved it over to that. This is a, a part from the construction industry. Again, shorter part, more ideally suited to a fixed head but our previous fixed heads didn't have live tooling so we we're running them on the sliders and it's just a, a fixed head part that is a, it's got is fixed written all over it yep. a few things that have come out from what you said about these components first of all shorter remnant yeah um, a typical bar end off a sliding head machine you're looking at 300 millimeters plus off the uh, the IM bar feeds on the fixed heads I'm getting um, in between 1 to 125 bar let, let Right, so a big save. I mean, you're running these 24/7. Yep. So a lot of buy, a lot of saving. Yep. Especially with the way the material is at the moment, scarcity, cost. You need to get as much out of that bar as possible. Okay. Now, next point, with the aluminium, you said about tool, well, tool wear as well. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's next to nothing. That on, on aluminium parts, the the, the, the Mianos are that rigid. I'm not changing any offsets at all. Right. Holding 10 to 15 microns all day. Yeah, that's what you want. And it's, it's also it's, um, controlled in terms of thermal growth because I understand they've got a bigger coolant, coolant tank, so that helps in terms of holding those. Yeah, it's a, as long as the, the, the parts are nice and cool, they're holding for size. Okay. Now, also, in terms of saving money, you can run non-ground bar through these machines. Yeah, the, the other problem we had with all our aluminium parts is that every bar that we were putting on them, we were pre-grinding in our grinding yeah. shop over the road. Right. So take the guide bush out of the equation, I can run the, the standard bar stock on the Mianos all day long. Right, but you're in a lucky position because you've got your own grinding facility anyway, but you still need... You it's still a cost saving to us even though we've got our own bar grinders. Right, okay. Another thing, because yeah, you know, you've got the driven tooling, the twin spindle, and turret, what single turret and the twin turret in there, so you've got a nice complex machine, mm -hmm. but another part is, well, you've got your eco badge, haven't you? You're saving a bit of power. Just a bit, uh, these, these two machines combined are using less than one of the old Mianos. Wow, so, okay. so another huge cost saving. Yep. Okay, now you also mentioned that you could, could have got a big ANX, for example, mm -hmm. but the footprint here is absolutely fantastic, isn't it? I've got two machines for the price of one, basically. Brilliant, that's perfect. Mm -hmm. So as part of that solution, then, Warren's come here, Warren Garrett from C Citizen Machinery UK. H how, how did he look after you? S superb, can't fault Warren at all. He knew what we were doing. He didn't need to oversell us a machine. Right. We knew the Miano reputation, so we, we just took it from there. Okay, so great, great endorsement of Warren and Citizen Machinery yep. UK. Now, I want to come finally to this part here, mm -hmm. because you mentioned well, a, a number of things about the cycle time, specifically on this part, what's happened? Uh, well, that part we were manufacturing on our old Mianos. Um, it's, we, they come in batches of 10 to 15,000, so it was a, a job that we could have put on the, on the sliders, but capacity-wise, we could never actually get them on there. So it came to the, 
came to the stage where we needed to upgrade the Mianos to, to get the, the component through the, the workshop faster. We've gone from two to three weeks down to eight days on one machine. Wow. The parts are coming off a lot cleaner because of the parts catcher and, and all the automation on the machine. So we're not spending as much time washing the components. So they're literally off the machine, quickly through the washer and out the door. Okay, also in terms of cycle time, the air time, so the dead time is a lot less because these machines are a lot faster. Yeah, tip to tip, they're a lot faster than our old Miano, without doubt. In terms of cycle times, then, how do these compare to the sliders? They're getting very comparable now, which wow. I was shocked at. Yeah, really impressive stuff. So fantastic machines pro producing fantastic quality components and providing efficiencies all around. So there you have it, Adam from MicroPlus with his two new Mianos.